In this video, we'll set out the basic information needed to set up and operate the G50 series round bale wrappers. It does not replace the operating instructions in any way. Before using the machine, the operating instructions must be read in full and the stipulated safety regulations observed. The manufacturer assumes no liability for damage due to non-observance of the operating instructions. Due to the various transport options, a certain amount of setup work is required on the G5010 and G5012 wrapping machines. In order to show you all the steps, in this video, we've wrapped the wrapping machine for container transport. Once the packaging material has been removed, first pick the components up off the wrapping table. Then swing out the drawbar. Remove the transport locks that fasten the wrapping machine to the container loading frame. After that, lift the wrapping machine off the transport frame, either using a crane and the lifting eyes, or with the help of a suitable and approved lifting device. Lower the support foot of the pivoting drawbar. Loosely attach the tires and set the wrapping machine down on the ground. Tighten the wheel nuts in a crosswise sequence to 410 newton meters. The tire pressure should be approximately 1.2 bar, 17 psi. Mount the lower linkage and secure it with the enclosed cotter pin. To make it easier to extend the upper part, tension a strap between the frame. Lift the upper part slightly so that you can undo the mounting bolts. Then extend the upper part to its highest position. Note, make sure that hoses and cables do not become pinched. The mounting bolts are tightened to a torque of 800 newton meters. For the rest of the steps, connect the wrapping machine to a tractor or hydraulic oil unit. Lift the bale pickup so that you can undo the spring locks. Then lower the bale pickup completely. Next, loosen the two bolts of the control panel. Then turn it 180 degrees and secure it with two additional bolts. During this step, it is particularly important to pay attention to the hose routing. The wide load warning plate is then screwed to the valve plate. Now the drawbar cylinder can be mounted. First, fit the piston side to the drawbar. Extend the cylinder to the required length. 
The rod side can now be fitted to the main frame using the enclosed link pins. Note, do not forget to secure both link pins with the bolts. Now secure the hose pack to the drawbar using the enclosed hose clamps. In order to keep the transport length of the wrapping machine as short as possible, the film cutting device was relocated. First, loosen the hydraulic hoses and remove the bolts from the bracket. The film cutter is then moved back into the designated hole pattern and bolted in position. Align the hydraulic hoses and fix them in place. The final step is to attach the film pre-stretcher. Note, the film pre-stretcher must be set in such a way that it runs around the center of the round bales. The machine is now ready for use and prepared for delivery. You can find more information at training.grooveile.com. Thanks for watching.